It's always been a dream of mine to have a gallery to hang my artwork in. I can look at every one of these paintings hanging on the wall and it takes me back to a moment in time when I was actually creating the painting. So you kind of preserve your history in the artwork. I kind of equate them to uh, like raising kids almost. Um, you know, they're, you, you watch them grow up and mature and you hope they turn out okay <laughs> and you hope everybody likes them. Sam Bass's artwork is enjoyed by drivers, crews, corporate sponsors and fans alike. Sam is one of the people that creates the color of racing. In Sam's humble beginnings growing up in Hopewell, Virginia, he developed a love of drawing and racing. The two interests quickly began to combine. My mom used to get so aggravated with me. She would bring me home brand new matchbox or hot wheel cars, die cast cars. And the first thing I would do would be to tape the wheels of them up and start painting them. And she asked me one time, she said, Sam, those cars are brand new. She said, they're, they're brand new cars. Why are you painting them? And I said, Mom, I want them to look the way I want them to look. And that's what I do today. And, and I still get just as excited today about getting the opportunity to design a new paint scheme as I ever have. He became a fan of racing legend Bobby Allison and is even a charter member of the Bobby Allison Fan Club. Uh, anybody that knows anything about me knows that uh, I got started in this as a Bobby Allison fan. I went to Talladega, Alabama and, and took a really big painting that I had done of him uh, to the garage, uh, but I managed to talk the garage uh, gate person into letting me in to, to get it autographed by Bobby. And when I was there, um, his team saw it and, and he of course you know, autographed it for me and some other people uh, from some other teams looked at the painting and they asked me if I would do some of their drivers. And, and when I was coming back from Talladega that day, I thought, man, if I could string enough of these little commissions together, maybe I can make a, a full-time career of doing this. Sam has since gone on and continues to design the look of racing with well over a thousand paintings and drawings and over 300 different car designs for all the different series in NASCAR. Sam Bass can create original illustrations, team graphics, logos, point of sale design, and even mascots. With an impressive client list such as Coca-Cola, Anheuser-Busch, DuPont, Pennzoil products, UAW GM to name a few, Sam's work can pop up anywhere in association with the racing world. Sam has designed cars, uniforms, team vehicles, toys, guitars, including the Nashville Super Speedway Trophy guitar awarded to Bush race winners, and has even come out with holiday items. Sam's 200 mile an hour paintings have left a memorable mark on racing. Well, my first impression of Sam Bass's work was like, wow, I can't believe this guy can do what he's doing with a brush and a, and a pencil and a whatever he uses, you know, he's just a, bit, a very, very talented individual. He's done a lot of work for me. He's done a lot of work for the Miller Brewing Company, especially early in my career with the Miller Brewing Company. But he still continues to do really cool things. It's, it's such a challenge and it's such a reward to go to Daytona and see those cars roll out of that garage area for the first time and take that track and know that they started off on a sheet of paper. And here you go seeing this full-size car, all painted and decorated, and you know how many different transitions and progressions it went through from this sheet of paper and the thoughts in your mind to being a real physical car running around the racetrack. But it's still a 200 mile an hour painting. And that is, to me, is what it's all about. One of the things that, that I really try to bring to the table as a graphic designer and artist is the fact that I am a fan that's been around the sport for the better part of 34 years. I mean, I've, I've seen the cars roll out onto the racetrack and you know very quickly which ones show up and which ones don't. And after 34 years of following the sport of NASCAR, I've seen a lot that didn't work and I've seen ones that did. And at the end of the day, hopefully having something that not only makes the sponsor and the driver happy, but really excites the fans when they see it roll out on the racetrack. Sam's passion and unique style comes through in his work. 
He has designed for numerous teams and is Jeff Gordon's official designer. He designed the FAME Rainbow Warrior paint scheme and then transitioned it to the current flame scheme for Jeff. However, Sam has encountered a few bumps in his career. Jeff is, is definitely one of my favorites. He was kind enough to give me his uniform and his helmet from his rookie of the rookie year in 1993, and, and that's something I treasure. The very first thing I remember is going to Sandwich Construction Company years ago, and you, you walk in there and on the wall, it's just nothing but all this artwork, and, and you keep seeing the signature Sam Bass, Sam Bass, Sam Bass. And so I figured out right away that Sam Bass is, uh, you know, a talented guy that works a lot in racing and never in my wildest dreams did I realize that someday he'd be designing the DuPont paint scheme for us in Winston Cup and, and doing so much, you know, for us. And so, yeah, I remember the first time, you know, I saw him do one of me and my face in our car. It, it was very cool, very exciting. I mean, he's so good at, at being able to, to just picture what, what the fans, what television, what the drivers are really and the teams are going through in that moment during a race. It's been a real privilege to design for, for Jeff and, and create uh, what became known as the Rainbow Warrior paint scheme and transition that into the Fire and Flames paint scheme that he runs today. Jeff, uh, when, he, when he came onto the circuit, he had his mustache and when, every time I look at this, every time I look at this one particular painting here, um, it, it reminds me of a story. When I finished the painting up, uh, Ray Everham wanted me to present it to Jeff for his birthday present. And Jeff walked through the door and it was the day he had shaved his mustache. <laughs> so, so the painting was already outdated the minute it was done. Looking through Sam's gallery located across from Lowe's Motor Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina, you can understand why he is the first officially licensed artist of NASCAR. Sam's unique link to NASCAR has allowed him numerous encounters and stories to tell, but he has never forgotten the racing legends that gave him his inspiration to launch a career. The way you get back into my offices is to pass underneath the, uh, the door of really the first uh, official paint scheme for Bobby Allison. In the fall of 1987, I designed the paint scheme and worked on it, and then went to Daytona and watched Bobby Allison win the Daytona 500 the first time he ever ran the paint scheme, which as a Bobby Allison fan growing up, that was like the ultimate. In my gallery, there's a huge tribute to Dale Earnhardt, and this part of the gallery is extremely special to me. This very land and property that my gallery is built on is the realization of a dream and the only way that it was able to happen was because Dale Earnhardt was good enough to sell me the land to build this building and he was uh, one of the first people to come into this building when it was completed and there's a photo of him on the wall signing the roof off of his race car that he had given me. It's a very very special thing and and the fans enjoy it and it's just it's just a priceless memory. Sam's techniques and ability to capture and design the world of racing is inspiring. Sam's creations depict not only moments in racing, but are well thought out compilations that cannot be captured by photographs. His creations are evident in the world of racing on program covers and in race team designs. There's almost never really ever been another thing that I've ever really wanted to do. I mean, NASCAR, from going to the local short tracks as a kid, and just being overwhelmed by the speed, the color, the excitement. It was just a natural to combine my love of drawing and painting into that sports arena of, of NASCAR racing. I mean, it's everything, it's, it, it's, it's competition, it's um, colorful, uh, it's got a story behind it, the drivers are, you know, colorful characters in and of themselves. It's so much subject matter and history to constantly capture, you know, that, that's exciting. And it's an always changing, evolving sport. So although I might come in and paint race cars and race drivers every day, the sport is always changing. There's no two cars that are looking alike. Um, uh, there's no two stories that are the same. I mean, and, and that's very exciting. So you never run out of subject matter. Plus, you know, it's part of my job to constantly change the sport. And, and that's a very, neat responsibility to have, you know, so, so to be able to come in and create and hopefully put your mark and influence on what is already a tremendously popular and great sport, 
you know, that's a big responsibility, but it's one that I thrive on and, and really, really enjoy to the max.